If you're curious about Linux, but don't want to relearn how to use a computer, this might be the perfect operating system for you. Today, we're looking at the latest release of Zorin OS, one of the most beginner-friendly Linux distributions available. I'll show you how to download it, create and install USB, install it on your PC, and explore the features that make Zorin OS such a popular alternative to Windows and Mac OS. So let's get to it. Zorn OS is a Linux operating system designed to make switching from Windows or Mac OS as easy as possible. It's built on Ubuntu's long-term support base, which means it's stable, secure, and well-supported. There's a very low learning curve for new Linux users, and Zorin OS also provides excellent performance on older PCs. So if you're looking for a Windows 11 alternative, it's worth a look. Some of the features that Zorin OS is known for would be the familiar desktop layouts inspired by Windows and Mac OS. You can change the appearance to look very much like Windows or even Mac OS. There are familiar web browsers, email clients, and office productivity softwares to make it feel like home. Zorin OS doesn't try to overwhelm you with a bunch of options. It focuses on making Linux feel comfortable and approachable. If you are a basic user, then Zorin OS should be quite easy to pick up and go. Before installing Zorin OS 18, here's what you'll need. A target PC or laptop with a dual core 64-bit CPU. At least four gigabytes RAM, but I'd recommend eight gigabytes if available. You'll want a minimum of 25 gigabytes of free storage and an eight gigabyte or larger USB flash drive to build our USB installer. Firstly, we'll hop over to the official Zorin OS website and download Zorin OS 18 core. The core edition is free and includes everything most users need. There's also a paid pro version with extra layouts and apps, but it's completely optional. Once the ISO file finishes downloading, we'll go grab some software to build our USB installer. To help us build this USB installer, we're going to use Rufus, but you can use any flashing software tool. Jump over to the official Rufus website, scroll down and grab the latest standard or portable installer. Once it's downloaded, open up Rufus and let's go build our USB installer. All right, go ahead and plug in your USB drive, if you haven't already. We'll select the Zorin ISO image we downloaded and then click Start to flash the image. Click OK to wipe the USB and build our installer. Once Rufus is finished, plug in your USB drive to the desired computer you want to install Zorin on. We'll power on or restart your computer and access your boot selection menu. You can usually access your boot menu at startup by hitting the F9, F10, or F12 key on your keyboard. You may need to do a quick web search to find your computer's boot menu key, or you can drop me a comment below and we'll find it together. Now select your USB installer drive and hit enter on your keyboard. Select try or install Zorin OS and hit enter on your keyboard. This initial portion of the install will kick off and may take a few minutes to complete, so be patient. Now we can walk through the standard Zorin OS install. Select your keyboard layout and allow for updates and third-party driver installation. You can install Zorin OS alongside another OS or choose to erase your disk and install Zorin fresh. Set your time zone. Create a username and password, then click continue. The full install will begin and should only run for five to 10 minutes. Click restart now. Remove your USB and hit enter on your keyboard. Now you can log in with the password you created earlier. 
Zorin OS immediately looks and feels familiar, especially if you're coming from Windows. Here's where Zorin OS really shines. The taskbar and start menu mimics a Windows desktop layout well, and navigating the start menu is simple. Zorin comes with the pre-installed Brave web browser. It's fairly fast, private, and secure out of the box. Zorin also has multiple productivity softwares pre-installed and available to make the transition away from Windows a breeze, from a Microsoft Office alternative in LibreOffice, an email client similar to Outlook, and a hefty app store available to grab more apps, even games. Zorin OS has a lot to offer a traditional user very quickly. This latest release of the OS is proving to be one of the better Linux distributions for beginners. Again, we found it to be fast, familiar, and incredibly easy to install and use straight out of the box. I hope you enjoyed this video on Zorin OS 18. If so, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech content. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye, everyone.